Hello, Team Sagittarius. It's Empire 333 here. Hope you're all well and safe. This is your love tarot reading. If anything else comes up, I will make sure to let you know. We'll be getting into your energies, then whoever else is thinking about you, Sag. So, Sagittarius, I feel like you're going through some type of, like, closing out a chapter in your life. And what I'm seeing here is that, like, a new life is waiting for you, okay? Um... Yeah. Okay. Yes. We got Taurus energy here and judgment. Scorpio energy here. It's like there's a point, there's a, a part of you that is being resurrected okay some of you might go into actually a teaching role in the physical like you might go into some type of teaching role but what i feel here is that you're tired of the same old okay some of you i feel like you feel out of place wherever you are it could be in your home in your job or whatever that beep is the confirmation okay and some of you will be in a role that you need to uh, sharpen your communications, okay? Speaking any type of communications, whether it be through like online, um, whatever it is, okay? There is, like I said, you're closing out a chapter with the world card here. And this was a long time coming, okay? But what I feel here is that you're holding on to the idea of something coming back around to you and that is really messing you up so if you're holding on to an expectation of someone from the past coming back to you um that is tripping you up sagittarius okay i just want to put that out there and let you know because that is keeping you from what is meant for you, is what I'm hearing, okay? So let's see what, what or who is coming in for you, who has you on their mind. Okay, I just heard whoever, if this is for you, Sag, this is not going to resonate with every Sagittarius. If you're waiting to resurrect something, like maybe a reconciliation for someone, you know who they are if I tell you this, the following. This person, whoever you want, has an allegiance to something else or someone else, okay? So that is cue of what Spirit is saying. And it's, it's kind of like you did learn lessons from this person, you are meant to learn lessons from them and then move on to your next role, your new life. But some of you, it's hard to detach. And I get it, okay, Sag? No shaming here, none whatsoever. The spirit is saying, it's like there's a whole new world waiting for you, but you're stuck in that attachment. For those of you that, you know, um, that's for, okay? So who has, my stomach is growling, guys. I am hungry. Um, haven't had my protein bar yet. Okay. So let's see. Who has Sagittarius on their mind's spirit? Oh, okay. Who is this? Ace of Swords. Who is this? What's coming in? Whoa. No. Okay, they told me not to get that. Hold on. Who is this Ace of Swords spirit? Okay. Wow. Wow, whoever is this, there's a lot of swords involved here. So, Sagittarius, this is somebody who you kept going back and forth from, okay? This is somebody that there was a lot of 
I just heard heated conversations with them, heated debates with them. This is somebody who you felt brought a lot of drama in your life, okay? This person is thinking about you, but I feel like what's happening here is like they're, they want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you, okay? But every time they do, they think of the times you both had like disagreements. Um, there was a lot of, like I said, heated arguments, heated um, times that you had with this person, okay? And... You had a lot of good times with this person, but I feel like you and this person were like kind of stuck in this karmic loop where you guys kept coming in and out of each other's lives somehow, some way, okay? And this person wants to reach out to you. Why do they want to reach out to, to Sagittarius? Why? Well, we are in Venus retrograde, guys, and we're going into Mercury retrograde. So, okay, just wanted to come out. So this person is nostalgic, okay? And I feel like you and this person would connect together very much so, like heal together, um with the bedroom time, you know, if you were intimate with this person. This person, there was definitely some type of emotional fulfillment you both um, experienced together, okay? And I feel like what's happening here is that this person is connecting you to a feeling. So they could be drinking and connecting, like it's it's triggering them to remember you, like all the good times that you guys had together. So they're definitely nostalgic about that, but they keep like going back and forth whether they should reach out to Sagittarius. Um, they're thinking about the sweet memories and the bad memories, okay, together. So I feel like this is like a 50-50 if this person is going to connect to you guys. Um, the probability is 50-50. Yeah. So they're, they're also scared about your reaction. Okay. If they reach out to you. No. This person, um, what do they want? What's their intention about reaching out? This is interesting. This person feels bad about something, Sagittarius, and I feel like they want to make peace with you. They feel bad about something. And what I'm seeing here is that you could have felt tricked by this person or manipulated somehow. But what I'm seeing here is that There's definitely deep feelings this person has for you. I feel like they want to apologize. I don't know. Are you waiting for an apology from somebody? Because I feel like for some of you, they, they're they thinking of apologizing to you. Okay? But I don't know if you've seen my, um, my video on apologies. Make sure you watch that because that was definitely very important about apologies. Um... I feel like this person, whoever they were, they were in the ego in the past, like very much so. Their ego was very big. And now it's like they're in a they're in an environment where somebody, if they're with somebody else now, Sagittarius, you no, know, somebody's not taking care of them. They're not how should I say? So Sag, you have this like lovely, like healing energy about you, right? And it's like somebody is not taking care, somebody is not um, coddling their ego, 
right? So it's like you are remembered, Sagittarius, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You are remembered. I feel like for a lot of you, this person, like, like I said, 50-50, they reach out to you, they apologize, okay? So I don't know if you care, whatever, but it's only to do that. I don't feel like this person is coming back to get something going. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not coming back to, with the attention of getting back with you. I feel like they just want you to know that they're sorry. They want to get something off their chest, okay? And they learned a lot from you. I just want you to know that. Okay? Yeah. Look at this. They have a different perspective about what went down between you two, okay? So they learned a lot and they have a different perspective and I feel like they could have felt like you are the one who screwed them over. You were the bad guy or girl, whatever. Gender doesn't matter here, guys. And now they have, like when they're reminiscing about the times, the sweet memories, the nostalgia, you know, all that good stuff, they're remembering that a lot of the fights, like it takes two. You know what I mean? It's not just, you know, they might have blamed you in the past, okay? So I'm going to see what else is coming in for you. Okay, they want me, what should, you know, okay, afterwards. All right, okay. So anything else coming in for my Sagittarius? Oh, wow, this wanted to come out. What is this about? What is the Knight of Swords about? Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay, some of you are going to get a big settlement, okay? I don't know if you have a court case. Um, something is going to settle in your favor, okay? For some of you, this is the apology you've been waiting for, okay? The other scenario I'm picking up is that okay Ooh. there's some sort of karmic justice here okay something or someone who deceived you or there's something about something that like was either lied to you about or something that was going on behind your back, Sagittarius, you're going to receive karmic justice for that, whatever that is, okay? It's kind of like, and it's going to come fast, okay? This is fast. So between now and October, you're going to receive this, okay? For some of you in September and this what did I say your life is gonna completely change it's like a transformation happening this could also be your money sector like it could be like you lost money or a job was not give, the right the job you wanted wasn't given to you or you know the title you wanted wasn't giving given to you and now it's coming back and Whoever needs to be exposed is going to be exposed. It's like the skeletons are coming out of the closet, okay, is what I'm hearing when it has to do with this, okay? The skeletons are coming out of the closet, okay? You're not going to feel like this anymore. You're not going to be in the five of pentacles, like I lack energy anymore. Things are turning around in your favor, I'm not going to pull this card, but there is a lover's card, okay? So, like... I feel like for a lot of you, karmic justice, okay? That's what I'm getting. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to receive this Ten of Pentacles, okay? For some of you, it's money. I just heard it's money, honey. <laughs> I love that, okay? And this is going to really stabilize your future. Whatever this is, it's kind of it's going to give you the money you need, the resources, um, living abundantly, we got the Empress energy here, so it's it's your time to receive, is what Spirit is saying, okay? 
So what's the advice for my Sagittarius about the spread? Okay. Moving on. Moving on. What did I say? Moving on to the new life. Okay. Not waiting for something to be resurrected. Not expecting that. Yeah. Look. Strengthening bonds. This is some this is new. Okay, this is, um, <laughs> she said, it's the golden pentacle. Yeah, it's the ace of pentacles, guys. Okay, so there's a new road. There's a new road that is waiting for you. Detach. You know, Leo got this too. I don't know if you're, you have Leo placements, but they want you to be hopeful, Sagittarius. I know that, you know, life has bogged you down but make an effort to release the past release the expectations because you you're going through a transformation that's happening for you right now as we speak it's like you're being placed in the right space and there's karmic justice here okay definitely okay so for a lot of you if you're having money struggles it's coming honey i mean it's it's over it's going to be over very soon, okay? It's and I got the beep again. That's confirmation, okay? Um, and for others of you, your new life is going to include a person you can spend your future with, okay? And I just heard all is fair in love and war, okay? So, yeah. All right, Sag, I hope that this has helped you. Let me know in the comments how you resonate, and peace out.